Some of the people who'd like to leave the Federal Conservative Party are making their first pitches to party members in Halifax today. And with the exception of Peter McKay, it is generally a list of people many Canadians have never heard of before. Let's bring in Hannah Thibodeau right now. She's in Ottawa with more on this meeting and the race itself. So where do things stand at this point, Hannah? Okay, so there were five leadership hopefuls who addressed the progressive conservative AGM in Halifax today. They had 15 minutes. For the two perceived front runners, who are Peter McKay and Aaron O'Toole, they largely focused on attacking Justin Trudeau and liberal policies. So for Peter McKay, at one point he was talking about the climate uh, and how Justin Trudeau has managed that. He says he hasn't managed it very well. His environmental policies, he says, aren't working and he's also not getting Canada's natural resources out in an efficient way. Take a listen to what he had to say. Think of the jobs that could have been created in Atlantic Canada with Energy East to bring to our region a pipeline from Alberta and Saskatchewan with resources to be refined and exported from here. The export of highly regulated, ethically produced, competitively priced LNG brought to the world. A world that needs energy. Even the United Nations has said we're going to be using fossil fuels for 40 years. We're not the problem. We could throw all our car keys in Halifax Harbour, turn down the heat, turn off the lights, walk around naked in the dark, eating organic beets, and it won't make a difference. So he didn't focus specifically on what his climate policy will, uh, would be. However, that is to come in some time between now and the end of the leadership race. However, he was focused on mostly going after Justin Trudeau and the Liberals, trying to show members that he could replace Justin Trudeau in the next election. Same for Aaron O'Toole, Ontario MP Aaron O'Toole. He focused a lot on Justin Trudeau as well and saying that he's not working hard enough when it comes to getting jobs for Canadians. Take a listen. More than anything else, we have to show that we will fight for jobs and opportunity for all Canadians. Unlike the Trudeau government, who constantly seem to be fighting for attention from global celebrities and media pundits. So what these two gentlemen are doing is what they're trying to show members is that they could potentially, if chosen as leader, have a good shot at going after Justin Trudeau and the Liberals in the next election campaign. So when it comes to policies, neither had many specifics. Their teams say the policies and the specifics for those will come at a later date. Okay, so Aaron O'Toole there as well as Peter McKay, but what about the other candidates that uh, want the same job? Yeah, so these are three candidates where you may not have heard their names before. And in fact, one of them, Rudy Husney, he ran in a previous election campaign against Tom Mulcair unsuccessfully. He worked for Prime Minister uh, Stephen Harper in the past, former Prime Minister. He even got up at the first of his speech and said, look, first I'm going to address the elephant in the room here. Who is Rudy? And then he talk, talked again a bit vaguely about his policies. As for Ontario MP Marilyn Gladue, she's the first engineer woman as a member of parliament she had to introduce herself as well but they did she did have some specifics about policies in hers she said there would be no national pharmacare plan she says there will be no carbon tax and also things when it comes to students as well as when it comes for first-time home buyers Alberta um, businessman uh, Rick Peterson he got up as well he ran in the 2017 race he came 12th out of 14. He had some serious pitches in his, but he still is trying to get known as well. His biggest pitch is no um, corporate income tax, so zero corporate income tax. So these three are really trying to get the membership signatures because you need a thousand signatures by the end of February, 3,000 by the end of March, if you even want to be in the race. So they were pitching for those members in the room to sign their, their nomination forms so that they can actually fully become candidates in this race. Okay, Hannah, thank you for that. The Quite CBC's welcome. Hannah Thibodeau in Ottawa.